Here we are using the same model of the consumption choice budget, budget constraint. But in this case, we are choosing how many hours to work versus how many hours to spend on leisure type activities. Let's say that our original choice is 0.0 on the lower opportunity set. A rise in our wage causes our opportunity set to swing upward. In response to the increase in wages, we can make a range of different choices available to us. A choice like D, which involves less work, and a choice like B, which involves the same amount of work, but more income. Or a choice like A, which involves more work and a considerably more income. Our personal preferences will determine which choice we make. Here is an interesting supply curve, which shows us the supply of labor. The bottom upward sloping portion of the labor supply curve shows us as wages increase over this range, the quantity of hours worked also increases. The middle, nearly vertical portion of the labor supply curve shows us that as wages increase over this range, the quantity of hours worked changes very little. The backward bending portion of the labor supply curve at the top shows that as wages increase over this range, the quantity of hours worked actually decreases. All three of these possibilities can be derived from how a change in wages causes movement in the labor-leisure budget constraint. Thus, different choices by different individuals.